that's like if you told the human, like, I would keep your eyes stabbed. Just make sure you keep a bunch of sharp things in those eyes to make sure you don't miss a, a thing. Keep your eyes sharp. Maybe we do kind of say that. It, it, it feels it feels wrong. You know, it's too it borders on threatening. Welcome to Graham Games. My name is Graham. This is a game. Today we're playing Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion. Coming to us from Snoozy Kazoo. Great developer name, just right off the top. Excellent game name. Fun, calm, serene title screen. And it's like a vegetable based Zelda action adventure type game, but also with tax evasion in some weird particular way. I don't know. Basically, everything about this game was weird enough and unique enough for me to think, like, yeah, I gotta see what this is about. I'm giving it a one off, like a quick look, but it is a much larger game. The game is out officially today, so you can go check it out. Links in the description. Tax bill. You owe a ton of property tax for your greenhouse. You have until, like, yesterday to pay it. Failure to pay will give Mayor Onion the deed to your house. Total owed 143753 plus, like, 50% interest. Sincerely, the government. Mayor Onion, official seal of approval, Department of Taxation. I suppose I could give it a read. Oh, it's the same deal, but rip it up. I don't want none of that. <laughs> the achievement unlocked. Tax evader. Right off the bat. Committed. The tax, the titular tax evasion has occurred. Boy, turn up, boy. You really screwed yourself. What do you mean, what? You committed tax evasion. Yes, tax evasion is a real thing. Anyways... You owe me a lot of money, and you obviously have none, so consider yourself my personal assistant. First, head over to the bustling barn through Lair Lane. I'm trying to set up a town hall there, but there's a bunch of animals I need someone to take care of. Bring me back a bag of fertilizer as proof, or you'll be sleeping with the rotten. Ooh, <laughs> with like the dead? That's just how they name them in this game? The, the pixely art is, is quite cute. Hmm, there's a bit of like a, a floaty, drifty feel to the controls a little bit. Or maybe, do you know what's partially maybe throwing it off is that I'm not used to the camera following the character in a game like this. It very much had the look of like per screen camera-ing. A watering can. Use this to grow plants. Used to be old man lemons. Okay. Well, oh, chap. Have you seen my watering can? I already stole it, actually. It's it's mine now, if you hadn't noticed. My eyes aren't what they used to be. I haven't seen it for days. That watering can means so much to me. I really hope no one stole it. It's the only thing I have left from the old lady. I don't feel that guilty. I, I don't know. I feel like I need it more than him. <laughs> old Man Lemon's house, home of an extremely convenient watering can. I mean, they, people straight up put it on a sign. They felt it was I important enough for that. Use this to grow plants. You used to be old man lemons. So I have it equipped. Oh, I have a fun little dash move. I'm, I'm, and I can just chuck water on things. He looks a little dry and wrinkled and things like that. I thought maybe I'd give him a little splash and maybe he'd feel good about that. Hello there. Isn't the weather lovely? Just as lovely as that strawberry down the street. She's so nice. Say, could you water this plant for me? But well, that's just as convenient of a placement as could be. This guy just didn't want to get his hands dirty. He saw that watering can. He set up shop here at a distance, knowing that one day someone was going to scoop that up and, and do it for him. I ran out of water and want to give the special flower to that special strawberry. You know, I, I do like when games make good use of mixing up art styles, like the nice thick hand-drawn outlines when they're having their conversations versus the, the pixely art of the rest of the game, like this versus the pixels. Whoa, I found this! A flower, a token of affection from the florist to the strawberry. Oh, I wasn't aware I was agreeing to also deliver the flower. Thanks for growing that flower. I mean, these veggie people have really nailed down the, the science of gardening. <laughs> it takes me months if I ever wanted to grow a flower, and I might not successfully do so. Bam, boom, grown, done. 
thanks for growing that flower. Bring it to the special strawberry. I, I like that we're a silent protagonist. I think that works fine. I don't really know why we're like, we look super drowsy. I guess the stresses of taxes or like, I don't know, he's a little messed up. I don't want any of these other folks getting the wrong idea. <laughs> what, what if I delivered it to this blueberry instead, just to see what happens, mix things up, maybe, maybe Turnip Boy the Matchmaker. You don't know, you give it a shot. I might know what I'm talking about. I'm a blueberry. You're a turnip. Goodbye. I'm glad we had that talk. I was, I, I learned a lot about you and everyone and not nearly enough about these plant cats. Obviously, I'm making a stop over there. Uh, turnip boy, thanks for the flower. No, <laughs> but I, I don't feel the same. I'm sorry. It's not from you. Oh, thank the mushrooms. Mm, the flora sent this my way. How sweet of her. Do you think you can take this letter for over to her for me? Dear Floris, thank you for the pretty flower. <laughs> I could rip it up again. Would you like to go on a date? Someday we could even get married and pay our taxes together. <laughs> well, we are allowed to read it, but I'm not allowed to just like put it away. I can only destroy it. Is it because I just have such a hatred for the man? I, I don't want to pay taxes. I don't want any mention of taxes. I, that shit doesn't fly where I'm from. The achievement turned is heartless. I'm sorry, she didn't feel the same way. Oh, you delivered it? Sweet, thanks a lot. Take this as payment. Oh, that's a little, a little greasy there. We're gonna accept payment for something. I, we did it, we did do it, but we, we took it a step further and not the direction they were hoping for. <laughs> Heads up, you can view and equip all your hats in the pause menu. Documents to rip. <laughs> I'm gonna rip them all. I didn't realize that was my entire, I don't know, like motivation. My, I don't know, character arc in this game is just to rip everything. Rip and tear. I, I don't want the hat right now, you know? I think it signifies a pretty dark time in my life where I chose to ruin the love of two fruits who seemed to want to be together and I chose to get in the way of that. So I don't really want to wear a symbol of that, of that hatred that I've put out into the world. Woo, woo, cran cran. Have you met my little cat apple munchkins? Aren't they so, ooh. Actually, my little red munchkin ran away. If you could keep an eye out for it, that would be perfect. What a weird combination of fruit and cats. Mega Meow! <laughs> it's a big meow. Oh, I like his little swirl. Micro Meow. <laughs> I, tossing water on randos has seemed to not matter, and I kind of wish that it would, you know? Beat! <laughs> he doesn't get a fun name or anything. Ever since that freaking Mayor Onion took over, this town's been a mess. I mean, look at this path. It's absolutely overgrown. Like, you would need a heckin' sword to get through this mess. I hear you can get one in the weapon woods, though. Well, I'll keep an eye out for shirtin. And a potato? Tots! Oh, but he's got dumped on. Poor old Tots. What do you want, kid? Listen, I'm getting ready to rob the rotten in this graveyard. I need complete focus. And you seem like the annoying type. Get out of my sight, kid. I don't want him to do that. Grim Graveyard, Lair Lane, and Weapon Woods. Lair Lane, I think, is where he was sending me. So obviously, I, I, I gotta go, gotta go scope out some some weapons in the woods. Watch out for snails; they're vegetarians. So for now, I guess I'm without a weapon in the Weapon Woods. But hopefully, that means I'll be able to find a weapon in the Weapon Woods. Bro, you ain't gonna believe this. Jerry's been crashing at my place for a week, and he hasn't paid a cent of rent. We're on good terms, bro, but I don't speak much snail. I don't really know what to do about it, bro. Well, I mean, I could... Ah, uh, that's not gonna work. This is bad, bro. Yeah, I'm sorry. I did, I did everything I could. It did not pan out the way I had hoped. Weapons are gonna have to be drawn. 
Soil sword patch ahead. Bring a watering can. You have to grow a sword. I guess maybe it's not metal. Maybe it's made out of a, tr a tree branch or something. Oh heck. I lost the baby. I was told to babysit a little carrot. I sat over him with the stool, but he escaped my sight. Maybe the stool needs to sit on me. Either way, can you keep your eyes peeled? I, I would watch the phrasing of peeling around vegetables. That's like if you told the human, like, I would keep your eyes stabbed. Just make sure you keep a bunch of sharp things in those eyes to make sure you don't miss a, a thing. Keep your eyes sharp. Maybe we do kind of say that. It, it, it feels it feels wrong. You know, it's too... It borders on threatening to suggest that you're going to peel any part of a vegetable. How hard could it have been to babysat a carrot, you know? Put a hole in the ground, stick him in it. He'll be fine for a week, I'm sure. <laughs> I swear that's how the phrase goes. Who's missing? Wanted for tax evasion. Turnip boy. One dollar reward. Bah! Get out of here. I I don't want that. And you guys don't want to do it to me either. You you won't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> Something. I like that. After the dash, he falls down. He wipes out after every one. I turn it, boy. Oh, an avocado, but it looks it's like a backpack. That's such that's such fun character design. I've been traveling around the farmland and exploring the forests around it, and I found something cool. I like how every character type has like a different scrolling background for their text that matches the type of food that they are. Up ahead is a rare Planticus sorticus. If you have a second, check it out. Oh, baby. I'm gonna get my biology on. Thirsty plant patch. Someone please water this boy. I mean, you'd think someone would care enough to come and do that on the regular. The soil sword. It's dangerous to grow alone. Take this. Oh boy, game, what have you done? So quick swapping and using. Oh nice, yeah, I could I could use that. I could use a quick health up. It's funny that that heart heart item had like a little face on it. There's something kind of strange about that, isn't there? A bud? Oh, the chitin masks? Is that... What, why? It's horrible. Why? <laughs> Graffiti guy. He gets a little GG to scroll by for Graham Games. Look at that. On brand. Advertisement within a game. I'm advertising a game by playing a game. The game, incidentally, is advertising me back. It's a very uh, symbiotic relationship that I share with Turnip Boy and his tax evasion. I relate greatly. What's up, dude? Got any spray paint? I'm itching to vandalize public property. You feel? No. I stand up for truth and uh, justice and, like, I don't know, maybe, like, one or two other things. Uh, fair pay cheap taxes and uh that you know everyone everyone gets a free pair of sunglasses once a year these are these are my but my political what i stand up for <laughs> rent money jerry was gonna pay his rent oh no he had planned to all along and i ruined it bro why did you kill jerry he was defenseless why <laughs> oh wait he had his rent money? <laughs> cool beans. <laughs> well, I was gonna keep it actually. <laughs> Bro, uh, since he's dead, take this check for the remainder. I, I need that cash. Jerry Snail, one dollar and twenty-five cents in tax. Sorry, you dead. <laughs> it's a shame. It's a real shame. I mean, I would cash that in. Oh, but it was. Uh, I wasn't even going to be paid to me. Achievement murderer. This game has taken a turn. And I am a turnip. So I should have seen it coming. <laughs> you know, the writing was on the wall right from the very beginning. I, I guess I, I, I should see what these tomatoes or beets are doing. Chads. A couple of chads, of course. Radishes? So he's a chadish, perhaps? And maybe it's like Chad, Brad, and... Ooh, there's a third one there. I don't know what it would be. Shmrad. Excuse me. Oh, it's a rutabaga. I was, <laughs> I was wrong. In every way. Whoops. Excuse me. Rutabaga adolescent. Please step away from the premises. Oh, maybe he's calling me a rutabaga. 
This is an IRS operation. We need to secure the area before you pass through here. We got our eyes on you. I don't know, hard to tell, you got sunglasses on. It's, I, I can't really discern where exactly your eyes are. They just happen to be a little too obscured for me to, to know 100%. Edgar, oh, he's, such a, oh, he's a, uh, like a hot pepper. You need a haircut, desperately. Oh, but who? The great Edgar, best barber in all of Veggieville. Am I kidding? I don't know, honestly. That's a weird way to end a statement. That feels like some mind games. I don't know. I don't know how to... People already, when they end something with like, am I wrong? Then you're like, mm, I don't know, I think so, but you've put me in a position where it's very difficult to argue with you. Am I kidding? Oh, well now I have to really play back the entire conversation and try to judge if there was a jokey tone about it. Ah, uh, it's overwhelming. Too much, Edgar. I, I don't know about that. A famous client of mine wants me, the great Edgar, to dye their hair. But alas, I do not have the dye to do it. So two people want paint. I think. I think that's... Uh, maybe I'm supposed to choose? Obviously, this client is higher priority than your dumb hair. I urge you to come back another day. Uh, maybe that's just his way of saying, you know, like, not right now. Someday, sometime. Orangey glad it's not a banana. The real estate agent sold me this studio apartment. <laughs> Everyone just lives in, like, these open dirt patches. It's smaller than most and more expensive. I'm hoping the alleyway scenery pumps me full of creative juices. You know, nobody likes a dry orange. It's a very miserable experience when you, you buy what looks like a delicious piece of citrus, take it home and bite into it, and you, you might as well just stuck a vacuum in your mouth because it sucks up all the moisture. No good. I hope you do find some juices. <sighs> oh, hi there. Are you looking to purchase some real estate? Oh, turnip boy. I'm sorry about that. I hope you get your greenhouse back soon. I've been so busy lately. Mayor Onion's been trying to raise property tax. I hate taxes. It's my thing. <laughs> it's been really hard to find new clients. Yeah, no doubt. It's terrible. Trust me, you don't want to go down this alleyway. There's some shady stuff down there. Trust me, boyo. Well, I mean, if you insist, I'll continue to live a quiet life doing my own thing. <laughs> Belch really has some teeth, huh? Welcome to Way Sandwich, home of the Tier 3 sub. Can I take your order? Oh, you don't want anything. <laughs> Figures. Business has been really slow. I wish I could get someone famous to eat our subs. <laughs> and on, say, a live stream or something. Is that what I'm doing right now? Am I, am I contributing to sub, Subway? What, way Sub? What was it called? <laughs> it certainly wasn't called Subway. That's the one thing it wasn't called. That would really bring in the business. <laughs> that, that was... Uh, it was really hard to talk. I felt like I was spitting on myself and made it, made it a little difficult. I'm trying to, I'm trying to mix up voices here. Coffee breaks, am I right? Yeah, you right, kiddo. This is an active constructive site. Scram. Why am I not working? I'm on break. Brother, I work here. See, here's the documents to prove it. Ooh, big mistake. <laughs> the payer name, Mayor Onion Turnip's house. Ooh. This isn't my house, is it? Construction beat Rigsby Farm, they think. Grass is cool, account number 420. Paid taxes, of course. Credit card number, ooh. Amount given, you know, the appropriate amount. Threes on back, time needed. 11 veggie weeks, which who knows how that's different. And you know, of course, I'm obviously gonna rip it up. And then, you know, maybe it'll become my house. Well, kiddo, you outplayed me. <laughs> I haven't tried to stab citizens yet, and you know, it really just seemed like I had to at least try. A trophy! Reward the player so they stay engaged. I am very much in love with the combination of fairly wholesome, childlike, silly humor that's quite nice, weird stuff about tax evasion that's like this in-your-face anti disestablish no, it's straight-up disestablishmentarianism, not anti, it's, it's on board with that, and then like 
a few kind of meta jokes and a little bit brainier of a few things or like some easy puns or whatever, the game keeps you guessing a little bit. Oh, look at the little, taking a little nap while I'm talking. Clearly I'm boring everyone. All I'm saying is I think the game is very adorable so far. Hey, hello, turnip over here. I have short term memory loss. Shirt, I'm just trying to get to Veggieville. Please tell me where I am. Oh, thank you. I now know where I am. But do you know where you're going? Or how to get anywhere? Because it really seems like I didn't really give you the, the necessary information at all. <laughs> I, I'm just realizing what a clever joke this is. That any of these characters, you know, it, it, the one guy ripped up that so he has something new to say. But this guy's just going to talk about coffee again, right? Coffee breaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he, like, they didn't actually have... I don't know, it's just playing on the fact that these characters don't have alternate dialogue the more times you play, the more times you talk to them, so they're leading all the way into that with the fact that this character has straight up memory loss. It's brilliant. It's so funny. Hiring exterminators to get rid of unwanted livestock. I'll chuck myself in yonder barn and bustle it up and hopefully retrieve a, a little bit of fertilizer. This looks like they're like making a game. This is probably like a game dev in the game. Slay Queen 32. Sup gamer, I'm Mayor Onion's assistant, but you can call me by my gamer tag Slay Queen 32. I'm the best fork fight player in Veggieville. Fire fork fight is that? I, I'm trying to guess if that's a pun or anything. Fortnite. It's a fork. It's a Fortnite, right? <laughs> I would tell you to check out my streams, but I haven't been able to go live since the pigs in here make so much noise. Oh. Do you want to get into the bustling barn? Well, I have some bad news. Access is exclusive to my true fans who give me tier 3 subs. It would be, wouldn't be fair to let you in for free. Be sure to like and subscribe though. Bam, thanks for doing my job for me. <laughs> don't, don't sub to Slay Queen. She isn't even real. This, this is real. Oh, I'm just noticing that they don't even call it Dash, they just call it Trip. <laughs> I, don't, I totally uh, missed that before and I love it. Alright, I need subs and I forget what he wanted in exchange for that. Way Sandwich, Subway, Way Sandwich, there we go. It's, it's you again. Oh, okay, there is new dialogue. Wait, Slay Queen 32 wants a tier 3 sub? Oh, here, it's on the house. Just make sure she eats it on stream so I can get that clout. I feel like I went too hard. With, it was very difficult to talk with your teeth that far out. A sub for Slay Queen. Mm. You're giving her a sub? A sub for Slay... It works for me. I like it. Aw, oh, Turnip Boy, thanks for the tier 3 sub. As a tier 3 sub, you gain access to the bustling barn as well as my autograph keep it <laughs> here you go now if only someone would do something about all those pigs making noise i miss being able to actually stream thanks for the tier three sub turnip boy be sure to pay your taxes next time silly <laughs> get out of here don't tell me what to do <laughs> it's called it's just called simp <laughs> oh that's too good picky 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 oh we're actually there's like a legit dungeon to crawl through now Active boom bloom site water twice at your own risk. Wow. Oh, I can just wave this in people's faces, can I? To show them how great I am? Wait, I equip? I can't. You cannot actually equip it. It specifically says which ones are equipable. And from a distance, aces. Great work. Oh, we got a worm. You know, not the worm from before. Do you know what? That was a different game. <laughs> I played a different game today that had a worm character. Rain on Your Parade. Also a fun game. Potentially worth checking out after this. But I'm messing with my own head. The Boom Boots. Use these to kick Boom Blooms. Run into them to send them flying. Actually, I'm just... Vote Mayor Onion. I, I guess that's what's all over the place here. I, I don't notice. I didn't notice if the other rooms also. Ah, crap. That was a mistake. I didn't mean to restart the, the. I didn't think that would be the case. I just wanted to confirm with that cute little burp <laughs> whether or not there was like goofy signs and things in that other other room. The uh, a book. How to do your t how to do your taxes by William Storm 
rip an entire book. That's quite muscular. That's uh, impressive. You gotta, you gotta work on that one. Build up to it with like a phone book and everything. Hey, turtle boy, I'm just taking a break after a pig kicked me in the roots. These beats, a bunch of dead beats, if you ask me. Taking breaks nonstop. Nah, I'm okay. I just hope someone gets rid of those things soon. Anyways, I heard if you find some boom boots, you can use those to kick boom blooms. <laughs> Did I just like sing a song? <laughs> yeah, just let one grow and then run into it. Oh, so I don't, I don't actually have to equip the boots, which is quite useful. It takes a, it takes a, oh no, 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 no. That did not work at all. Oh, maybe I have to trip into it. All right, let, let's, let's throw some weight behind it. That didn't do anything. Do, do I like double tap to run? How the heck do I run? <laughs> that, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna kill myself trying to do this. Oh, I'm, I'm playing it too risky. It sticks a little arrow on it. There you go, so you only have to water it run once when you when you pull that off. And back to the starting room. Still need a key for that. Excellent. The, if it, the game actually makes it the tiniest bit easier on you than I was I was expecting. So thanks. Thanks for that one game. Got ourselves the key. Simple little dungeon, quick little dungeon, few gags in here, maybe just getting you uh, familiar with the uh, basics of puzzle solving, things like that. I, I guess in my mind I was thinking like, yeah, this will be the boss. Oh, there's more dungeon. I can't figure out how to get through here. And again, I hear a ton of oinks through the door, so I'm also not trying too hard. Uh, how many how many animal types are there in this world? Clearly pigs are something you don't want to encounter, is gobble anything up. Man, this place is a dump. A sty, perhaps? I get why we need a town hall, but why did we have to pick the place overrun with gross animals? Maybe not all animals are gross. Seems awful judgy, if you ask me. And you didn't, but I insist on answering anyways. I just feel that strongly about it, you know? Oh, now, we, now we're dealing with a pig and I'm using the wrong <laughs> item. There you go. He's got to really corner him. Now the chickens, I don't know. I don't know if the chickens are considered bad or not, <laughs> but I'm putting them down anyways. No chances, no risks to be taken no matter what. I just noticed there's like a little thing like a heart and like a... I just noticed something scribbled on the, the can there, but I had no idea if it was anything actually important. I've hit the wrong button literally every time. I wonder if I would if I would benefit from like a, a rebinding of the keys there, because something's something's blocking in my brain. I also think I tend to prefer item wheels whenever they're available. As I was saying it, I like tapped the shoulder buttons because I was just thinking like, you know, hold the shoulder button, use the wheel to select your item. You can just swap items, like do a quick swap. And that is so much better. I don't, it, it, it doesn't matter that much at this stage when I only have two items to swap between, but like long term, oh yeah, 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 I'm into it. Oh, finally, I knew they'd send the search party. The crew must have been worried. I've been stuck here for three days. No food, no water, no coffee breaks. I mean, but in another way, isn't the whole thing one giant coffee break? Thank you, adventurer. Be careful. There's a dangerous pig through this doorway. I'm ready for it. <laughs> He's like a king pig, though. King pig ate a ton of fertilizer, and for some odd reason, that, you know, didn't do quite what you would have expected. And I would have expected it to fill him with poop, you know? I, I just wouldn't think that it would be, it, it's nourishing for veggies. That's, that's typical. That's exactly what I would expect to see. That was stupidity. And I kind of suspected that it might uh, be a, a risk to do it point blank like that. And I went for it anyways. A uh, relatively simple boss battle, making use of the, the new item that you found within the dungeon. A nice, nice version of the condensed dungeon. And it's like shot bacon out everywhere. And that's just lovely and absurd in, in, a, in a fantastic way. I, I Clearly, I'm supposed to claim this. Yes, I had to water it. Heart fruit. This fruit gives you another heart. 
nifty. A full, a full heart even. And our bag of fertilizer makes things grow like crazy. Why does Mayor Onion want this? Ooh, for somewhat nefarious purposes. Is he trying to make onions the supreme rulers? Psst, over here. You doing anything? I need some wood, and I know a dealer. Can you grab it for me? Head down Lair Lane. He should be in the alleyway near that sandwich shop. Thanks, kiddo. I owe you, yeah. Ah, oh, we're getting more side quests dished out and like reasons to come back to this location, things like that. I could stop and talk to that, that other one. I don't, I, don't, I don't even know if that other guy was new or not. Instead, I kind of just want to dash over to the mayor and kind of put a little bit of a bow, have a condensed, full, complete story that takes place within all this, you know? I really enjoyed the voice I gave to this guy before. It was very in the moment. I don't remember at all what I did. I'm glad these animals are out of the picture. This fertilizer will come in handy too. All right, so your next task as my assistant is to get me a four-pronged spear. In ancient times, it was known as a fork. I mean, we got fork fight the game. People clearly know what forks mean, dude. Assistants don't ask questions, but I do have a question. What do we eat? I guess we eat water and the sun and maybe fertilizer. Hmm, <laughs> and subs. And for some reason, reason sub sandwiches. I won't question it, that's fine. Word on the grapevine is that there's one in the forsaken farmhouse that supposedly sells from here. I've heard horror stories about a bunch of moldy sweets in that place. You're in no place to complain. Go get me my fork. There you have it, guys. First look, first adventure dungeon of Turnip Boy commits tax evasion. Pretty clear from the amount of documents that are to rip. Oh, I missed one within this first area. There is a second, third, at least, at least three major areas. I, supposedly, I've found about 21% of things. But already, there's uh, side quests branching out all over the place, new areas to go to, and everything about the game is just charming and pleasant and nice and, like, pretty casual. So far, not a very difficult game. The puzzles are simple, the combat's simple, but, like, I do just enjoy everything I'm seeing and experiencing. So in that way, I, I would definitely think it, say it's worth uh, checking out. I'll have a link down below. The game is out as of today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.